In the roaring din of the city, the death of the ADDC's vice director hardly made a sound. Behind his death are the vast profits of the AD9 drug. Yagami arrives at the possibility that all the deaths were premeditated. But the prosecution's eye for such detail is wanting, and Detective Ayabe is indicted for Shintani's murder. Striations on the recovered bullet are a perfect match to his firearm. There's no doubt. He's the one. <laughs> like it or not, he's going down. Apologies for keeping you in the dark. It was imperative for Ayabe to be completely oblivious to our suspicions of him, after all. This is a murder charge against an active officer. To put it plainly, it takes more effort to actually make an arrest. So, we had to pretend you were our primary suspect. You and Ayabe have gotten to be pretty cozy these days. Suspecting you was the perfect way to divert his attention. I see. So this was all some kind of act? An act? Not at all, I assure you. And I believe you should know. We're aware of Ayabe's side job. Ayabe was an informant. A spy. He was selling police intel on the black market. We plan to investigate those transactions thoroughly, Yagami-san. And so, it wouldn't surprise me in the slightest if we see you again in the near future. Speak of the devil. We were just talking about you, Ayabe-san. Listen, Yagami, you gotta help. Someone set me up. They're saying I killed Shitani. Me. Me. Uh-huh. You're not surprised? Not quite. I already heard. I'm sitting here with the prosecution as we speak. Huh? Yeah. They're looking right at me. Please, Yagami. You have to take my case. I don't know where else to turn. Okay. I'll do it. It's only fair after all you've done. We can talk more later. I'll be there soon. So, I'll see you in court then. Who do you have on the job? Izumita? Should be a good time. Someone is using you, prosecutor. No matter who that person is, I'm not losing. So that's the story, Kenda Sensei. We're gonna take the case. Uh, of course we are. Anyway, you're gonna go talk to Ayabe, right? I'll send Hoshino Kun along. Yep, I'm heading over right now.
I've been waiting for you, Yagami-san. We can go see Ayabe whenever you want. We'll just need to grab a taxi to get there. An on-duty detective arrested for murder. <laughs> now this is a shock. Try not to look so happy about it then. This is Hoshino Sensei from the Genda Law Office. He's young, but he's reliable. Oh. Here I thought the great Takayuki Yagami would represent me. It's been years since I defended someone in court. I'll still be gathering all the evidence, though. Don't worry. It worked for Hamra. I'm Hoshino. I'll do whatever it takes to clear your name. You sure, kid? Shintani was practically your boss, huh? If I'm really the killer... Well, I mean, you're not the killer, right? Uh, he's not the killer, is he? Probably not. What do you mean, probably? I hear your gun's the one Shintani was murdered with. Yep. Apparently the rifling on the bullet matched. Um, what's rifling again? Really? Uh, sorry. So, guns have these spiral-shaped grooves on the inside of the barrel to stabilize the bullet's trajectory. These grooves are called the rifling, and leave a mark on the bullet itself. Whoa. Now, the rifling's slightly different on every gun, kinda like its fingerprints. And apparently, the marks on the bullet that killed Shintani matched my gun's rifling. So your gun must have killed Shintani-sensei? Yeah. It was the murder weapon, for sure. So, someone used my gun to commit the crime, and I'm being set up. But how? You remember the day he died? We were having a nice stiff drink at Tender. You, me, and Kaito. Yeah, I remember. That was my first time meeting Kuroiwa. I hung around after you guys beat it. It wasn't a while till I decided to go home. Thing is... I don't remember what happened next. Huh? Someone smacked me in the back of the head. Crept up so I couldn't see him. You got ambushed? Where was this? Close to the bar, I bet. But... I'm not sure. It all happened so damn fast. Some great detective work there. What do you expect? Whoever knocked me out moved me, too. I just... Fucks with things even more. Moved you to where? Random bench. Over in the Kamurocho Children's Park. Not a soul around when I came to. That's a ways from Tender. They must have taken you in a car. How long were you out for? Hour or so, Tops. But as I found out later, that hour's when Shintani was murdered. With my fucking gun. So the real killer still has your gun? No. It was in its holster when I woke up. Wait, what? Whoever attacked me took my gun, murdered Shintani, then put it back where they found it, all within the course of an hour. So the only thing missing was a bullet? Not even that, if you'd believe it. They got rid of any sign it had ever been used. Maybe if we look at the bullet from Shintani's body... Not gonna happen. Nothing spectacular about a single bullet. By the way, did you tell anyone you got attacked? No. I mean, nothing even got stolen. Reporting it just would have put me in more trouble. Don't want to draw attention to your side job, huh? Sucks being a dirty cop. A real detective could have reported it. Huh. Can't argue there. The culprit must have been counting on that, though. They went after you specifically because they knew you wouldn't make a big deal out of it. 
So it was all planned? Planned or not, the bullet that killed Chintani ended up with your gun's rifling marks on it. There's no denying that. Yep. I only found out when they hauled me in, though. No surprise they suspect me. There's no reason not to at this point. But none of my co-workers said a damn word. Hey, you know how Kuroi has been dragging me all over town with him? He probably just wanted to make sure I didn't skip town. Only just realized that now. What did you say is your alibi? You were knocked out in the park? Not a very believable story. Come on. You and I both know I didn't kill him. Somebody's pinning it on me. <sighs> what do you say, Yagami? You think I got a chance? <laughs> You'll be just fine. <laughs> well, guess that was a dumb question. Nobody's gonna tell a guy his head's on the chopping block. Listen up, Hoshino-kun. Ayabe was set up by whoever killed Shintani. That's what we've got to work to prove. You really trust Ayabe-san? What if he's lying to us? He might be a dark stain on the forest, but he's a decent guy. Smart, too. He wouldn't kill, especially not with his own gun. Someone else did this. You think it's the mole? That's the most obvious suspect. Let's start by talking to someone close to the case. I've got a guy in mind. Which would be... Oh, Captain Hamara. Mm-hmm. But nobody knows where he is, right? That's true. I wonder what Matsugane-san's thoughts are, though. If anyone's gonna know where to find Hamara, it's him. <laughs> Good. Well, I'll head back to the office, then. I should tell Genda-sensei what we learned. Yagami-san, I don't know what you want, but I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Sorry, but I need to talk to Matsugane-san. He's not here. Can't tell you where he is, either.
Huh? Looking for Higashi Aniki? He's back in his office. What do you want? Sticking your nose where it doesn't belong again? I need to know where Hamura is. Still hiding. Not a clue where. What about Matsugane-san? Is he back at the office? Use your head, talk. No way he's gonna stick around there. Kaito-san? Hamura and the boss are in the same boat. Those Kyorei assholes would hunt him down in an instant if they were easy to track. Exactly. Wherever they are now, they're safe. No idea where that'd be, though. Can't you at least get in touch with them? Just say we want to have a few words. I can try. I'll let you know once I figure shit out. You know how to pick up a phone, yeah? Yeah, thanks. Hoshino-kun told me about Ayabe. Said the mole framed him. Guess he's really behind all of this. Yep. Which brings us right back to Hamra. We'll start from him and go from there. Plain and simple. Let's just hope Matsugane-san knows where he is. Well, no point worrying about that until Higashi gets back to us. Let's roll, talk. Hello? Yo, it's Higashi. Hey, any word from Matsugane-san? What'd he say? Meet at a restaurant called Kamuro Kikunoya. On the way's out of the city. Take a cab. The boss is already there. Got it. Thanks, Higashi. Don't keep him waiting. Matsugane-san, our guests have arrived. Good. Please, take a seat. It's been some time, Tuck. And you I haven't seen since your expulsion. Yes, sir. Matsugane-san, I'm sure Higashi mentioned this, but I want to ask you directly. Come now. Let's at least have a drink first, huh? <laughs> if you say so. Here. Place is pretty fancy. It's been a while since the three of us drank. Attack, I have a favor to ask. You need to stay away from Hamura. What? This family is nothing without him. Well, he's the only thing keeping us afloat. Yeah, you told me that already. Where is he? I don't know. He has no reason to keep me informed of his every move. Then why did you call us here? We didn't need to come all this way if that's all you had to tell us. Boys!
boss. I don't understand. My boy. You need to stay away from Hamura. The mole's my top priority now. And Hamura is the only person I can ask. Don't you understand? Hamura's been compromised. Him and that mole you're chasing, they're in this together. Time to let it go. What if I say no? I couldn't tell you what might happen. He's dangerous. What do you mean, he's dangerous? If you can't tell me that, why should I stop? Amura. The boy has money on his side, and a lot of it. And I don't know who he gets it from. I suggest you don't push the matter. But if you really want to put yourself in harm's way, then let me be the one to do it. At least then you'll make it out alive. You'd do that? You know, you and Kaito, well, I've always tried to keep you two kids safe. All this time, I've never asked for anything in return. But here we are. This is the only thing that I'll ever ask of you. Abandon this pursuit of the mole. If you've ever held a shred of regard for me, then heed this one request. I'm not turning back. The risk doesn't matter anymore. Okubo, the mole, the ADDC, it all connects. This isn't about what regard I have for you. I won't stop. Then I'm sorry. <clears throat> Boss, I've always looked up to you, and good Yakuza don't disobey, but now, I'm in Yagami's corner, damn it. Yes, that you are. Matsugane-san! Higashi. <sighs> Sir. Pick your side. I've had enough. You're Matsugani, are you not? I am, boss. <sighs> Prove it, then. Bad luck, dude. Guess we're doing this, huh? Not like we got a choice. And now that we're up against the wall, you're just gonna have to do it. Let's see what you've got! I'm sure he's gonna be just fine. <laughs> Time to die! Oh! 
It was simple for you two. Far too simple. Makes me realize how old I really am. It's a shame, isn't it? That I've all but faded away. Ah, time sure flies, my boy. Just gets worse and worse with every year. Damn tragic. Matsukane. And stay down, asshole! Not gonna be that easy. <laughs> You're really laying it on him, Kaito. Oh, boss. Is this the Yagami kid you were talking about? Yep. Happens every fucking time I run into the guy. So, asshole, you, uh, get some kind of sick pleasure out of him beating the crap out of you? Time after time, you just keep coming back for seconds. You all right in the brain, kiddo? I'm saner than you, you bullshit Yakuza. Huh? Bullshit Yakuza, huh? Some rotten attitude you got there. Hey. Why don't you go fuck yourself? Who the fuck do you think you are? <laughs> Back in the day, I was a lot more like you than I think you even know. I was in a real bad place, so I just started punching anything that pissed me off. And before long, my time was up. Nowhere left for me to go except this cesspool of a city. And you, my boy, that's exactly where you are. Don't talk like you know me. You don't know shit! Oh, but I do, you see. When I was your age, my life was going down the shitter and I just kept flushing. And now... <laughs> you, my boy, you're the same little punk I was. I can tell. You know, sometimes people have no choice but to turn to the Yakuza. But, even if my chance is gone, you've got a future ahead of you. <clears throat> now, I might have called this place a cesspool. But 
it's more than that. Kamurocho, it's a city of dreams where even from the gutters you can shoot for the stars. So if you want to get ahead in this town, well, kid, I'll teach you everything I know. But look, if nothing else, you might want to lay off your little date nights with Kaito. In times like these, it's hard to even enjoy a drink. The mole you're searching for is a hired gun employed by Hamura. An assassin? Yes. It seems Hamura always turns to the same person when he needs someone taken care of. That's your killer, without a doubt. Do you know anything about him? No, but whoever he is, he's a goddamn pro. He's killed several people now the exact same way, yet barely left a trace. Do you know what he looks like at least? No. The only one who does is Hamura. Are you still going to pursue this, Tuck? That's the plan. You should know. Even if you track down Hamura and the Mole, that won't be the end of it. They're just puppets on a stage much larger than you realize. And once you step foot on that stage, there's no hiding from the limelight. Do you understand? I'd rather try and regret it than never try at all. Huh. <laughs> Nobody listens to their elders these days. Sorry about this, boss. Seriously. Can I just say one thing, Matsugane-san? What is it? The Matsugane family I know would never turn a blind eye to cold-blooded murder like this. You say you can't exist without Hamura, but... Don't make me repeat myself. Times have changed. Hamura is the Matsukani family now. It's not my place to interfere anymore. That's my prerogative as patriarch. Matsukani-san. Thank you for everything. All that, still no clue where Hamura is. We're back to square one. Not exactly. The boss slipped us a pretty big hint. Oh yeah? When he was talking about Captain Hamura. Hmm? He might be in hiding, yeah. But the family looks to Hamura for guidance now. He's gotta be communicating with them somehow. If we can just listen in on one of their conversations, that should lead us straight to him. We just gotta get ears in there. You follow me? I think I do. You wanna bug their office? Exactly. But after everything that just went down, you know what'll happen if we get caught. They'll kill us. Which means, we'll just have to enlist the help of an expert burglar. Uh-huh. You wanna make Sugira do it. I'll give him a ring. You go track down some bugs. Me? Make sure they're HD audio and shit. Meet me at the office once you've got them.
Hey, Tsukumo. Oh, Yagamishi. What is it this time? I'm trying to keep this on the down low here, but I'm looking for bugs. Think you can help me with that? <laughs> you know who you're talking to, right? Of course I can. Thought so. Well, any time works for me as long as I've got the parts. You're gonna make them by hand? I won't find a safer pair of hands than literally my pair of hands. Plus, you get a friend discount. If you say so. Anyway, what do you need? I'll run to a department store and pick them up. <laughs> no need. Here's a riddle. You can get me from here, but I am not here. What am I? What? <laughs> Online shopping! Things get here in no time with rush shipping. I'll just need you to give me the cash. How much are we talking? For parts and labor, let's say... a hundred thousand? That's with your friend discount? <laughs> yes, sir. I'm taking a loss on it for you, Yagamishi. <sighs> All right. Just let me know when you have the money, and I'll put the order in. <laughs> that money burning a hole in your pocket? It's gonna run you a hundred grand for parts and labor. Here you go. <laughs> Thanks. It's gonna take a while, but I'll let you know when I'm done. Sounds good. Like you did that pretty fast, actually. I'll be waiting in the usual spot. Mind coming over? Not at all. See you in a bit. here fast, Yagamishi. Says the guy who makes bugs in ten minutes. <laughs> well, I can't refuse a compliment. Here you go. They're designed to blend into a power outlet, so just plug it in. Oh, and the signal range is 100 meters. It'll even go through metal plates or other obstacles, meaning you can listen from, say, the roof of a building? That's perfect. I think this is gonna work. You can turn them off remotely, too. So you don't have to listen constantly if you don't want to. I have to say, even a great detective like you would have trouble finding these, Yagamishi. <laughs> I'm not sure that's entirely true, but thanks anyway. You're a lifesaver, Tsukumo. <laughs> You're very welcome.
Hey, just stopping by for a bit. More like I got dragged here against my will. You get the bugs, Chuck? Sure did. Good. Take a seat. So, you want to tap the Matsugane office? Kaito-san told you, huh? Yep. Now explain what you told me, Sugiyoro-kun. Well, uh... It's impossible. No way I can sneak in. They've literally got guys on watch, man. The cameras had seen me going in and out, too. And think about what would happen if I got caught. They'd beat me to death. Guess we're screwed. This isn't a joke, Kaito-san. What are we gonna do? All right, all right, chill. I thought up something else. If Sugiura doesn't want to sneak in, we'll just find you a disguise. Huh? Just hear me out. You know this guy, Talk? Who's that? Guy's got a killer jacket. One of the Matsugane goons, yeah? Yep. Name's Tashiro-kun. The snazziest fucking Yakuza in town. Guy never takes his shades off, even at night. You know, his height and build are awful close. You better not be thinking what I think you're thinking. If Tashiro-kun was wearing a face mask, nobody'd know he was actually a different person. They wouldn't have a clue. Good idea. So what? You want me to dress up like Tashiro-kun and infiltrate the Matsugane office? Bingo. First things first, we gotta find him and grab his clothes and shades. The rest will be simple. Just walk in there and plant the bugs. Oh, and here I thought I was gonna be able to sit this part out. It's all in your capable hands now. I gotta say, Kaito-san, you really thought this through. You know, before today, I always thought I was gonna end up back in the family somehow. What's that? But there's no way. Not now that I defied the boss. Guess there's no turning back, though. Might as well see this through to the end. Gotcha. Now let's go get Tashiro-kun's clothes. Let's hit it. <laughs> 